Hello and welcome to UA Path Tutorials. In the previous two sessions, we learned how to install UA Path Studio and a walkthrough of UA Path Studio. Now, in this session, we are going to create our first robot and we are going to build it and we are going to run it in our session. I highly recommend to follow these steps to understand easily. And I'm also very excited to create my first robot using UiPath Studio. Now, without wasting time, let's jump into the UiPath Studio. Let me switch into UiPath Studio. If you see over here, I'm in the start position. If you see over here, whenever we're going to create a new process, then we are going to select a process. If you're going to create a robot or process, this is the same thing that how you are going to create it. Now, if you see over here, I'm going to select a process over here. If you see the description starts with a blank project to design a new process automation. Click on that. It will pop up a new window saying that new blank process. We have to give the name of the process. So I will say it as process hyphen or underscore what I will do, this is my first so that you know what I'm going to do. I'm saying first and about, I'm going to explain about the calculator process over here. In this session that I'm going to manipulate and I'm going to add two values and I'm going to automate it in this process. So that what I'm going to give the name process underscore first underscore calculator, which I have given it. Now to store this blank process or the new blank process, I have to select the location. If you see over here, by default, it has been selected C users, my desktop, and I have given where the, uh, you know, your path has installed. If you don't want that, you can change the directory over here. Now, if you see, I don't want to store over here. I'm going to E drive and I'm going to create a new folder by clicking on new, and then I'm going to select the folder. So let's assume I'm going to work on the dev environment so that I will say dev UI path and then I'm going to select that folder. Okay. Now if you see the location has changed to E colon dev UI path and you know, I will give the description over here about the calculator. So about the calculator process, what is the purpose of this, uh, you know, blank process to manipulate values using calculator. Okay. Now we have given the name, location of the process, where to store that. And I have the, given the description now without wasting time. And then I'm going to click on create. It will take a little bit uh, uh, to make all the things ready. Now, if you see over here, the project has created successfully. Now, if you see on my left hand side, I'm having a project and then you can see the process name as process underscore first underscore calculator. And you can see the dependencies, Excel activity, uipath.excel.activities, uipath.mail.activities, ua.system.activities, all these activities, automation activities, these are all the things, all the dependencies has been loaded. And you can see along with that, you can see main.xaml and the other one is the project.json. These two are the important files that it is going to be creating at the time of process creation. Now, let me go ahead, let me open the location where it has been stored. So you can see the main.xaml file and the project.json file has been created in the path which we have given, e colon dev UI path, and it with the name of process underscore first underscore calculator has been stored over there in the particular location of my drive. So without these two things, the project, uh, you know, the process won't work. So be careful whenever you're going to work, the, work with these two files. So at any cost, don't delete these two files. Okay. Let me go ahead and I will show you the activities. What are the things that we have? These are all the activities which I'm going to drag and drop or else, you know, I'm going to work on this project. Okay. Now let me go back to my project and let me double click on the main.xaml. The main.xaml file has been opened and this is the workspace which we are going to work on our process. Okay. We'll drag the activities and all these things in this workspace area. Okay. Now, before that, I will show you one thing over here. So, which we have to do. If you see over here, this is a new option, create new file that we are having. Let's click on that. And then you can see two things over here, sequence and the flowchart. So, before going to create a process about, you know, 
automation process. Now I'll explain you a little bit about these two things. One is sequence, another one is the flowchart. The process in the UiPath Studio can be defined as two types. That is one is sequence, another one is the flowchart. Without uh, any one of these, you can't work on this, on the automation process, okay? So now I will explain you one by one about the sequence as well as the flowchart. First one is the sequence. A sequence is a simple linear representation that generally flows from the top to bottom and tells the order which commands are to be executed. If you see on my screen that I'm having the sequence diagram over here and you can see the customer will uh, you know give the commands to the uh, you know uh, process to execute first another one which one another step one step two step three and so on. So the most important thing about the sequence is one which include the interaction that happens among the classes as an exchange of messages over the time. They are also even known as the event diagrams. And it is very easy to understand the flow by using the sequence diagrams. Now, flowchart. A flowchart is a graphical representation of a process in which each step is represented by different symbols connected with arrows. If you see over here, if you see some Rambo symbols over here and the decision making over here, and then which step has to be executed and what is the output and all these things have been defined over here. Flowchart is one of the best among the three layout diagrams of the UF path workflow because it is flexible and tend to lay out a workflow in two dimensional manner. If you see my previous videos about the blue prism, the entire blue prism having the same flowcharts. Okay, if you want to know about the Blue Prism, please go ahead and watch my tutorials where we are having 50 plus of the videos regarding the Blue Prism. Now I hope you understand the, about the sequence and the flowchart. Now we'll come to the main process over here about which we are working, which we are talking about right now. Now what we are going to do, we are going to be you know doing some manipulations on my calculator, correct? So what is the manipulation? I will just go ahead with a simple one, seven plus four equal to 11. This is the output and the automation which I'm going to do. Now, if you see on my screen, I'm having the sequence, how I'm going to follow that. Please follow my steps so that you know it is very easy to understand you, okay? So as a sequence, first step is that open calculator application. The second one, type into that. And the third one, once it has been completed, close the calculator application. Okay, these are the simple steps which I'm going to do. But how I will relate these two things in my real, real time scenario. Okay, I will tell you with the real time scenario how we are going to be working with the calculator. Okay, now what we are going to do, we are just going to uh, Windows and then we are going to type calculator, right? So first open the calculator and then what I'm going to do, I'm just doing some manipulations like seven plus four equal to 11. This is my output. So once it has been completed, I'm going to close this application, correct? The same kind of steps I have given you in the sequence over here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an automation process over here by using this UiPath Studio. Now, how can I go ahead and we can do that? I'm very excited to do that. Go ahead with the activities first. The first step I said, to select the one of the process. This is the sequence or else, you know, this is the flow. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the sequence over here. If you see that I, from the activities, I have selected my sequence and then I'm going to drag this one onto my workspace. If you see, I'm going to releasing it, but there's no, uh, you know, there's no, you know, any kind of sequence over here. The thing is that you have to select and drag this onto drag activity over here. Don't drag and drop somewhere else on the workspace, okay? Now, this is the beauty over here. You don't want to write any kind of code over here to execute this, uh, to run this process, okay? So that is the main thing is no coding knowledge is required for the UiPath process, to create any process in the UiPath Studio. Any RPA, almost all, you don't want to write any code over there to, to make the process automation. Okay, now if you see, I have dragged and dropped the sequence over here. I will just give the name as main or any name. I will say main hyphen calculator. I will give the 
name as main hyphen calculator. Okay, and then so first step we have drag and drop our sequence over here, and then as a first step, what we have to do, we have to open a calculator application. So for anything, what you have to do for any application, you have to open open an application. If you see over here from the activities, I have typed open over here. You can see open application. Another one is open browser. Whenever you are working with the desktop applications, you have to do open application. Okay. And then if you're working on the browser base like that, you know, www.google.com or any kind of URLs, if you're going to work it, then you will use open browser. Okay. Now we're going to work on the calculator, right? So that I will select this open application and drag and drop onto my drop activity here. Now, if you see open application has done, but which application I have to open it. Okay. So to, to for the first for that one, I'm just opening calculator. This is the application which I want to open, right? So that if you see over here, indicate window on screen, select that one to indicate which application that you have to open. Now, if you see over here, whenever you click on the indicate window on screen, you have to select which application has to open, right? Now I'm going to open the calculator, right? Now I have to work on the calculator so that I'm going to select this application from my desktop, which I have opened it. Okay. I have selected it. Now you can see the screenshot has been captured about the calculator and then it has been, uh, you know, it has given you as open application, application frame host.exe. So as the second step, we have opened the, as the first step, we have opened the application. Now we have to do some activities over here, right? There you can see once you have opened it, that is the do over here, do it the option, do it the thing which we have. What are the things that we have to do? We have to enter some data over there right you can see over here drag and drop items over here or something so what we have to do we have to type into type into this do activities right again go back to my activities and now what i'm going to do i'm just searching with the type type into now you can see over here computer vision cv type into or keyboard type into key uh, type secure text these are the things now whenever we are going to give the values we are doing from the keyboard of these uh, you know keyboard or from the calculator keyboard we are going to give it right we are going to type it so that i am selecting type into over here and i'm selecting that and drag and drop to workspace and then you can see over here type into and then it will show indicate element inside the window inside the window of what we are opened the calculator right so that i am going to select the same window and then where i have to enter the values here in the input right right over here in this area that i have to type the values right so that i'm going to type like uh, seven plus four equal to i'm going to type it over here okay i'm selecting it again you can see one more screenshot over here so what are the values that we have to give? Where I have to mention? Over here, you can see text must be quoted. In this area, I'm going to give the values over there. What are the values that I want to type it? Okay, now what is the manipulation? What is the thing that I'm going to do? Seven plus four equal to, this is the thing which I'm going to manipulate over there, right? For that one, if you see, if I'm going to give like this, it won't accept it. You have to give inverted commas over here. So in, in that case only, it will accept in the test format. Okay, now what are the things that I have done? I have opened an application and done some type into activities, nothing but I have done some activities and all these things. Now, once it has been done, you are going to close this application, correct? So for that, you have to go for one more activity, entire things based on the activities only. You can see, I'm going to close this. Close of what? I have opened an application so that I'm going to close the application. Oh, once it has been open, has been completed. Now I have to go and drop the activity over here below the open application. Okay. And now if you see in open application, I have done some activities and closing that what I have to do, I have to close the application. So to close the application, we're going to indicate on screen. We're going to select a application on the screen 
Let's click on that. Now, which application that we have to close? The calculator. Let's go ahead and let select that one. Now, if you see on my UI path uh, process, that screen has been captured. Now, the entire process has been successfully completed. We have created, you know, our first calculator, but we have to check it out this process is executing successfully or not. So before execution, let me close my calculator because of, you know, this enter process. If you see once again, we are going to open the application. We are going to type it, uh, you know, the values over there, and then we are going to close the application. Opening and closing that we are going to do. That's the reason I have closed my uh, calculator application from my screen. Okay, now what we are going to do, we are going to uh, debug it. If you see once you have selected it, you will find run a file, debug and run. I will explain you about all these things later. Okay, let me go ahead, let me select run option and then I'm going to running it. If you see over here, a sequence, it is going in the sequence file. First, it is going to be opening a calculator and then it is going to be giving the value 7 plus 4 equal to 11 and then it is going to be closing. So you can see the output on all these things. There's no issues, it is, but it is running very faster. How can I make it a little bit slow over here? Let me go to debug and then you can see over here, slow step. Okay, I'm going to make uh, this step very slow right now. Let me go ahead, let me run once again. If you see this output, there are no errors, warning zero, and then you can see this value 7 plus 4 and 11 it is going on. But still it's a little bit faster whenever you know you are when the type into values are coming into picture. This is the one which it is very faster. So whenever you know one keyword to another keyword it is taking a very huge very you know minute time to run it so that you can see delay between keys I'm going to give it as one second. So nothing but I'm just giving thousand okay. Now let me go ahead. Let me run once again. You can see first uh, the application open has been done. Now if you see the keyboard value 7 plus 4 equal to 11. These values are coming in very slow based on the delay between the keys. I hope you enjoyed this first robot. Thank you for watching UiPath tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.